Hey, welcome to Arizona Living with Rob Scribner. Let's get started. Before we get started, please take the time to subscribe, then click on the bell icon to get notified of our future videos. This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available on Amazon right now. Hello once again, this is Rob from Arizona Living, and this is Arizona Living video. And I want to talk about Arizona rats. I know, yuck. But, uh, lesson learned. So earlier, maybe a few months ago, I did a video. And I told you I made a really bad mistake because something was getting in my garden and eating my broccoli. And it turns out the culprit was this stupid thing. I thought it'd be so cool. And it's away from the house. You see it's my back wall and that's my house behind me. To put a bird feeder out here and feed the birds. Which is wonderful. And the birds loved it. I have birds everywhere. And I did this about the time I was planting my garden and I was trying to raise broccoli and might come out and my broccoli's been all chewed up and gone and apparently rats like broccoli. I said, what the heck brought the damn rats? And it turns out that I was feeding them. <laughs> so either they came through, a lot of people probably have noticed in Arizona our little brick walls have openings down here below and they can either come that way or if I come over here a little farther, you'll see I have an opening way down there. And that goes out to our front yard, which goes out to a, across the street as a uh, golf course. And I'm sure a lot of critters live in the golf course there. So, just to make a, bring this story in a little more. So, I found out these little rats moved in under our sauna. And I know the first thing you say, why do you have a sauna in Arizona when Arizona is a sauna? And it came with a house. I said, if you really need a sauna so bad, go sit in the garage. It's hot. Anyway, so I ended up um, putting mouse traps or rat traps here on this side and also on the other side. Let me bring you around over here. And under the tools there, I have another trap. So, in, it, so the first time, I probably caught five, six rats, and then the problem went away. And uh, so I monitored it closely and and make sure I'm not feeding the, the, the critters. And, and also, by the way, in our garden, we keep a, a netting over the top. They can still get in, but it keeps the birds out because I have strawberries in there. <clears throat> this time of year, everything else is dying except peppers and uh, strawberries. Everything else is dying out until September, and then we actually start planting again. Well, the problem came back. He's like, I'm not, I don't have bird feeders anymore. What's going on? So, uh, like what brought them back and oh, by the way the way I know that they're here is if you look at the door here I have this pretty little kitty right here at nighttime she'd sit at the at the door and you could see all terror you know she'd fluff up because she'd see the rats uh, or just be one they're not all over you don't see them that often but they'll pop out once in a while and the cat was like just freak out and like yay a... and yeah, I could tell the cat cat told me we had a problem again so what caused it this time I'm not feeding birds anymore I learned my lesson there and my garden's really not doing much except rats do like strawberries but <clears throat> something brought them in because I'm sure they cruise by and when they find a food source they go party party and they invite their friends and of course it's spring and summertime and they multiply like rabbits so what could it be well the problem was I thought it'd be nice 
because in the spring we get a lot of gnats and a little bit of, um, of uh, mosquitoes. <laughs> so I put a bug zapper in here, right here. See this guy? And this guy is set to come on at nighttime. And it's like a blood fest. When I turn this on, the just zap, 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 zap. <laughs> and of course they're falling to the ground. And uh, so at night it's just, you know, this thing is just lit up with little moths and little gnats and little mosquitoes and it's zapping away and all the bugs are falling to the ground and in the mornings the birds would be in here having a feast so I didn't feel so bad about mutilating bugs as uh, because you know the birds the birds were getting something to eat well apparently rats like bugs too so uh, at nighttime I come out here about two o'clock at night and the cats at the window again and so I sat there and watched them and sure and heck one one little rat would jump out of here when it thought it was nobody watching come running across and getting into the bugs and eating them and so uh uh i did it again i literally was i brought them on myself i'm telling you anything that oh my kitty anything that a rat possibly would like to eat uh, we'll attract them and it'll be a party and they'll tell their friends. So once again, lesson learned if you live in Arizona. If you're seeing rodents in your gardens or your backyards or whatever, you got to ask yourself, am I attracting them somehow? Because uh, really I try to not to have a lot of things on the ground. I don't have a lot of boards on the ground or anything like that. But they love this little sauna because it's a great hiding spot under there. And uh, now that I've got my traps, oh, by the way, and I caught another seven, seven rats, and then it stopped, and I've had these sitting for a couple more days. The new trick I'm going to put underneath here is I'm going to put mint, real little mint packets, because apparently they don't like mint. So I'm going to put them underneath this sauna, and hopefully when they do come in here, they'll realize they'll hate, hate my sauna and move on. So there we go, guys. I hope that was a lesson learned. If you live in Arizona, you don't want to, and this is not a real, this is actually a pretty nice neighborhood, but critters are critters. And so uh, to be uh, on the preventive side, I know it's nice to feed the birds, and I know it's nice to have a bug zapper, but uh, only run your bug zapper when you're outside eating or enjoying your patio, then shut it off because otherwise you're just feeding the birds and apparently the rodents. So there you go, guys. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye. Thank you for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over. Then go down to the description and think about becoming a member of our Patreon. This will allow you to get special content just for you and help us build future content. Thank you.